fucking level I was talking about. I fucking hate this level, and this is gonna take me forever. Uh, so this, what this means is I'm probably, probably gonna try to edit that uh, earlier footage out because I know this is gonna take me a while uh, to get good. There's a thousand fucking dudes in this level. They all are super reactive to gunfire. There's dogs, and all there's a ton of fucking windows. Oh, and there's no corners. Uh, I shouldn't say there's no corners, but there's no there's nowhere to go that your back is against a wall where they can't attack you. Like there's nowhere to go in this level that you won't be jumped from two angles. Uh, and the enemy pathing is super fucking unpredictable. So the best thing I can do right now is basically stand here and just kind of light these dudes up. But there's nothing stopping a guy from coming around the other end. I could sit here, but this is as far back as I can go. Um, so. Like, if somebody gets close, like that guy almost did, I luckily threw my gun at him, but there's there's nothing you can do. I can't backpedal any farther. And a decent portion of this game is, like, me during your, your back downs, I guess. Um, like, being able to have sort of an escape route if shit gets fucking hairy or you run out of ammo. Because um, the thing with this, the bullets are kind of... sometimes can be janky. You'll think you'll hit a guy and you won't. There's... It's one of those things that's hard to predict if you actually did or if you just think you did because everyone thinks they're the best of everything. Um, but it gets fuck. <laughs> uh, like, you have to shoot in bursts, basically, um, in order to, like, guarantee that you're going to kill anybody with any consistency. So, but it gets really tough to kind of predict your ammo count. And yeah, it's down there in the corner. But if you're playing, I'm playing on a TV, actually. This isn't even a uh, monitor. Uh, so it's not really directly in my field of view. The, uh, ammo counter so I can't look down at it if I look down at it I'm basically screwed um, the only time I can really get a good gauge for it is when I know I have like a few seconds that are gonna be enemy free there's no time like that in this level or on this the stage I guess whatever you want to call it um let's see if I can get this guy real quick and yeah fuck through the window of course um so yeah because these windows are here the line of sight the lines of sight for these dudes are incredibly long um it's one of those things that <laughs> it just gets frustrating a guy hitting you with a shotgun from a room and a half away but you know there's only so much you can do about it and again since I don't have the Tony mask I can't just stand here and just throw punches um, it's not necessarily a great strategy but it works uh, but it's, it's kind of nice to have that option I guess at the very least uh, which I totally don't like I'm still alive that guy shot me in the back of the head um, <sighs> I, I can't I can't overstate how much I hate this fucking level. I really can't. Um, I think it's the worst. I I don't want to go go as far as to say it's poorly put together. Um, but fuck it, still fuck this level. Still, I mean that's all there is to say about it. This level fucking blows. I just threw my gun at a dog, and that dog's not gonna react to that. So I need this knife. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Um. And I also have a tendency, I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll come up on the recording based on uh, just the software I'm using, but I keep fucking clicking on my taskbar, you dumbass. Um, this is the most frustrated I have been during my recording sessions, without question. Um, and it's not gonna, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Great. <laughs> great. Fucking great. And that's the other thing, I don't know if you saw that last kill, but that room is glass all the way around. So some guy who's like down there hit me with a shotgun shot. Um, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit sneakier. I'm not gonna use a gun. Oh yeah, that guy just went to become my gun. I lied about the sneaky thing, fuck that. I'm just gonna try to be a little bit smarter with what I'm shooting at and uh, like how many bullets I'm expending, I guess. That was a bad situation where I thought I died, I didn't, and then because of that, I died. Uh, which will also happen sometimes, especially in something like this where you're running it and running it and running it. Uh, you're pressing the R button a thousand times to uh, reload. That's basically how you restart the level uh, as you hit R. So what happened there is I thought I died, I hit R, it didn't do anything because I was still fucking alive. And that like millisecond of me going, why didn't that reload, is what wound up fucking me. Uh, and it distracted me long enough that I wound up dying.
What I need, the key element here is killing this first dog with the gun. If I, I've, I'm starting to realize, this is more me talking to myself. Uh, if I didn't get that first dog, it would have been fucked. Uh, I'm gonna try going down here. Alright, uh, got one more right there. Got that guy. Alright, I got one round left. I'm gonna sneak around here. What I'm doing right now is uh, there's a button you can hit and shift that'll uh, extend your line of sight. Where the fuck is this last dude? Oh, fuck me! God fucking damn it! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I did, but oh, whatever. I'm sure somebody's gonna laugh at that at least. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the beauty of it is that all enemies are lethal, even if it's the last fucking dude on stage. Even if you have a goddamn lead pipe and you have a shotgun, uh, you can you can always depend on your own stupid. I, I shouldn't say your, because I don't know who's watching this. I can always depend on my own fucking stupidity of doing something like that and thinking in the back of my head. I was seriously about to say. I bet this guy's gonna jump me from behind while I'm doing that extended look thing. And lo and behold, he did. Um, that's why, as a general rule, uh, I only do that extended line of sight thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, in scenarios where I know it's not gonna bone me. Great. Um, but it's kind of tough to recognize scenarios where it's not gonna bone you. Because that's basically what this game's gonna do, it's gonna push your shit in when you least expect it. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> as, as much as I want to talk shit, that's, as I've said a million times, it's part of the fucking appeal. Uh, you can't really knock the game for jumping you from behind. Uh, because that's, I mean, it's what, it's what you signed up for. Um, but, it still sucks. <laughs> it does. As much, as much as you try to justify it with like, oh, it's gameplay, and oh, it, it does make winning more, uh, more satisfying, and it really does. I pulled that off. Alright, that went well. Alright, that went extremely well. Um, but it does, it does, honestly, I can't believe I hit that guy with that knife, but I was totally just a blind shot. I wasn't even trying to hit him. Uh, let's see if I can jump this guy really quick. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, the frustration aspect and the difficulty aspect makes winning so much more satisfying. Uh, let's get that guy and then just hope that guy doesn't run at me. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still fucking frustration. <laughs> it is. Uh, oh, thank fucking god. Alright. Let's get a new shotgun. Guess what? The level's not fucking over yet. Um, last staircase is over here. Alright. But after that, anything's gonna feel like a fucking walk in the park. This right here is... I, I feel like that glass room that I just... That's why I refer to it as a glass room. What I just did. Um, is another example of them trying to switch up the gameplay. Uh, and it not being good. This too, this, this angle thing's kind of fucking bad. I'm actually gonna ignore that guy coming here, jump those guys. Oh, that didn't work. That would have been sick if it did, though. Alright, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this a little quieter over here. Alright, where are these guys at? That guy's gonna stand back up, though. Fuck, I'm in a bad spot here. Alright. Um. The doors knocking people over is useful, but it can be fucking frustrating. Because the thing is, too, when they're on the ground like that, you can't hit them with bullets. They're, you'll shoot over their heads. Um, since, I mean, obviously based on the game style, there's no there's no aiming down. There's no, uh, would that be Y-axis, Z-axis? I don't know. Um, but there's no, there's no aiming up and down, is the moral of the story. Oh, uh, that's your Y-axis. Um, like I said, it's early, come some fucking slack. Um, so, when somebody's on the ground like that, there's no hitting them. Also, this fucking shotgun is reacting jank as shit. Alright, I need that fucking big dude to come through the door first. Alright, well. Yeah, like, I don't know. My curse is acting weird, I guess. But maybe that's just me hallucinating. I don't know. Making fucking excuses for this monstrosity of a run. Getting through this level, dude, I'm sorry. I, I, I can do nothing but apologize for Fusa that this is taking me so long. Um, it really is the worst. I, I can't fucking stand it. Between that first floor, that sucks, and then that glass room, which fucking sucks, uh, it's... This level's the fucking worst. There's, there's no two, two ways about it, I guess. That went incredibly well. Alright. I'm gonna try to take this a little bit more seriously so I can get through this in a fucking reasonable amount of time. 
Fuck! Never mind. There's also the beauty of it is... You will get boned, no matter what, no matter how hard you try. So really taking it super seriously... It's... It's kind of for its own sake, you're not gonna benefit from it, because... As much- there's some games where you can, where you can just focus up and get it done, that's it. This game, no, not so much. I mean, there are such things as preventing yourself from making dumb mistakes, but at the end of the day, it's Hotline fucking Miami. Like, it's it's meant to fuck you. There are certain setups that are gonna fuck you. This setup up here up top, these, of these three dudes, is so set up to fuck you. I got that, which is lucky. Uh, the one dude just happened to come out. But now that door's open. Alright, cool. That went super fucking well. Alright, great. Uh, I'm gonna hit this guy, and then there's gonna be a fucking flood of them coming at me. When they're up against the wall like that, you actually can hit them. Fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've explained. Those big dudes are only susceptible to uh, bullets. And in practicality, they're only susceptible to uh, shotgun shells. Um, you can hit them with an assault rifle, it takes fucking like 10 rounds or something, and they move fast as shit. So there's, it's one of those things where, unless they're at the end of a long hallway or something, using a shot, or a, uh, an assault rifle against them is pointless, because they're gonna close the disc, they're gonna close the gap before uh, you get enough, enough lead into them. Like, that's such a fucking cheesy Call of Duty way to free me. They're not gonna be able to get enough lead into that guy! Um, but you're, you aren't, you're not going to be able to do enough damage to him in that period of time before he fucking closes the distance on you, uh, to have any effect. So really your, I'd say your best bet, but it's really your only bet in most situations, is to fucking hit him with a shotgun shell and have all of it, like, go into him. Uh, if you hit him, like, square on with a shotgun shell, it'll kill him in one hit, and that's, like I said, that's all you can do in 99.9% .9 of scenarios. That's the only way you're going to take him down. This level's fucking long, too. Got that guy. That guy's gonna charge me. Uh, it's cool if you think about it, though. Uh, just from a game design perspective, I guess. Just theoretically, all of that... Fuck. All of this kind of out, outside space that's uh, kind of like doing that cool color thing right now. Um, shit. That, that right there was an example of the, uh, the execution hitboxes being shit. Um, but the, all that outside stuff, or all that color change and shit, is, I guess, out, is considered exterior. So really, it's the outside of this building. So it's cool, like, uh, I mean, uh, this is a topic conversation that made more sense when I was over there. Uh, but when you're over there at those, uh, those two sets of windows, it's kind of cool if you consider it, because basically what you're doing is shooting out of one window and back into the build. That is the best setup I've ever gotten. But you're shooting out, out of one window here, and you're shooting across an empty gap of space into another window. That's kind of badass, I guess. I don't know. I'm running out of shit to talk about. I don't know if that's evident. <laughs> um, because again, just running the same levels over and over does not... Does not fucking lend very many topics of conversation, I guess. I don't know why I waited for that guy to stand back up to shoot him. I should have just executed him. That was being a dumb shit, I guess. So yeah, shooting across here, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Like, that guy just did that to me. He probably felt really sick. There's no way to enter this room without this guy being alerted, so... I've learned that. See how I pick up on shit like that? Very, very adaptive. But levels like this are why I have the, why I go with the Tony mask. If I had the Tony mask, I would be able to do that consistently and go through because the punches are so fucking quick. Um, I would be able to clear that room very, very consistently with the Tony mask. But I let the frustration get the better of me. I guess. Fuck me. God, that fucking guy. Um, just like any other game, enemy types are worth mentioning. Or worth noting, I guess, when you're playing. Um, so basically, these dudes are the general dudes. The dogs are the quick motherfuckers, and the fucking giant dudes are always black, which is, you know, whatever. Um, even though they're supposed to be Russian, I don't know, it's, it's kind of incongruous. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but those dudes are fucking, uh, basically your tank, I guess. 
The problem being, everyone moves fast as fuck. Especially those giant dudes. So it's not really a tank. The, the idea of a tank is they fucking are like a damage sponge. And you can kind of like juke out of their way. No, those dudes are way too fucking fast to be tanks. So they're basically just fucking annoying asses. Um, movement speed on anyone regardless, or any uh, unit basically, unit, any, any dude, any enemy type, is uh, the same, basically. They have their normal patrol, which is that. They have their charge, which is that. Um, but even, oh shit. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. I shouldn't say we're good. It's probably gonna go bad, but no, whatever. It always goes bad. Let's see. Um, but the movement speed is generally the same. Which makes it frustrating, because you think some giant dude who's gonna fucking absorb a thousand shots is gonna be slow, but no. I guess it works out for, for balance's sake. I don't know. Um. It is also kind of nice that as frustrated as you get, you can always bust a dude's fucking skull open with a lead pipe to kind of ease your frustration. I mean, that's always a good, like, stress ball, I guess, just busting a dude's fucking head. Um. <laughs> Commentating on this game kind of makes me feel like a serial killer. I'm just gonna fucking throw that out there. That the more I'm talking, I'm just like, wow, this is, uh, getting a little dark. Um. But you know, that's kind of the point of the game. But I, but I like that, that there's all this terrible violence, but with this cheesy fucking soundtrack, the cheesy fucking graphics and all this shit, it's like, it works. It, it sets a very interesting tone. Um, John's cool. I'm into that. I, I'm, I'm not always, but I can be one of those games or art kind of guys. Uh, I remember I was having this fucking conversation with my coworker yesterday, actually. She was going on and on, fucking ragging me about video games. Uh... So I'm, I'm a huge gamer. I always have been. I have a job uh, doing video game testing. Uh, on the side, this, my coworker is actually at my other job. Um, but whatever. But I'm just I'm big on video games. Video games are super important. It's a huge industry. I mean, it's a fucking industry bigger than the movie industry. Like you can't ignore it. But she's one of those people that's all oh, video games are for nerds, this shit, and you know whatever. But I was actually I I got. Indignant, <laughs> indignant geek on her, I guess, and was talking about, you know, game, games are an art form and this and that, and halfway through I had to shut the fuck up because I was just starting to feel gross, um, like, I just felt like a dick, like, I'm just a fucking loser trying to argue that point to somebody who just wasn't having it, but this game is a perfect example of something that on the surface, like, if somebody saw me, like, walked in the room right now and saw me playing this game, they'd be like, what the fuck is this, it's so violent, and it look shitty, like, like, I don't get it, um, but when you look at it through a, I guess, a different perspective, it is, or it, it's, it says a lot, like, there's a lot going on, theme-wise, uh, like I said, with the, the juxtaposition of kind of the, uh, like, 80s kind of, I don't, I don't want to say happy, but you know what I'm saying, like, the kind of fake neon -y sort of, uh, mentality, I guess, uh, where it's super bright, but it doesn't mean much, uh, it's just, it's one of those, it's not a dark game, it's not fucking Max Payne, it's bright, like, the color scheme is bright, the music is quick and fast, like, um, kind of upbeat, you know, whatever, so, it just, it doesn't strike somebody, fuck, god damn it, uh, if you were just, like, let's say you were just looking at the level design, I guess, and not the actual gameplay, this wouldn't strike people as, oh, this is a violent game. Everything's bright, everything's colorful, everything's simplistic, like, like, take, take all the characters and guns out, and you can make, like, this could be, like, a super simple game of The Sims. Like, you could totally see this exact map being a fucking, like, apartment building that you, like, create a character in, and you fucking just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like certain games, like, I don't know, like Dark Souls, let's say. With that environment, there's not much else you're doing with that fucking environment. It's dark, it's medieval-y, whatever you want to call it, fantasy-ish. Um, like, you're not gonna fucking have a Forza, like, racing game. Oh, that would be fucking hype. Uh, but, uh, I'm just rambling now. But you're not gonna see a game like that, like, with that environment. Something like this, it's like, immediately you'd see this, and you wouldn't, your first thought isn't, 
Oh, I bet there's a game about some dude that literally breaks people's heads with pipes and will fucking stab a dude with a glass bottle. You're probably thinking like, oh, this is probably some cheesy, like, fucking, I don't know, some Club Penguin shit. Cause like, cause that's what it strikes me as. Especially at this level with all the pink and shit, like, just some cheesy ass fucking, like, glorified chat room that they're trying to, like, make into a game. That's what the kind of design strikes me as. But I like that, the point being. That's what I'm, the point I'm trying so hard to get to is that I like that shit. That it's not necessarily what it appears to be at first glance. Um, there's- FUCK ME! There's more to it than that, I guess. Um, I'm stunned. I actually- This is one of the levels I don't mind. I'm doing so fucking poorly now. I think it's probably just carryover uh, frustration. Um, that's fucking me up. But I'm doing an exceedingly poor job here. Which is actually more frustrating, because I knew the glass room was gonna fuck me up. I knew this first floor was gonna fuck me up. Like, I knew it going into it. So this is actually more frustrating, something that I know I should be doing. Maybe not well, but I shouldn't be doing this fucking bad. Um, so that's actually kind of fucking with me more. But whatever. I try bust it, bust her into this room quick. I'm gonna wait till I can get the guy with the gun by the door. Nope, that, I fucked that up. Never mind. Fuck that guy with the gun. Oh, that went so poorly. That went so fucking poorly for me. Great. This is fucking awesome. I'm so glad I'm recording this right now. I'm so glad I didn't fucking warm up at all or practice this level. It's going really fucking well. I'm really happy. It would be super impressive. Really glad to watch this. Fuck! God fucking damn it. Fucking giant dude. Um, I'm excited for Hotline Miami too, though. <laughs> Looks really good. Looks super good. Uh, I don't know if, uh... Uh, the, there's a gameplay trailer out. Um, looks fucking sick, actually. There's one, one character that you choose that has two fucking, like, submachine guns, and you can shoot them forward or sideways. Like, uh, like Boondock Saint style, basically. Like, one in each hand, and he, like, holds them to the side. Just sick. Fuck! I... That was such luck. That was such fucking luck right there. Oh, he picked up an empty gun! Oh, that's so good. That's fucking... That's justice, is what that is. <laughs> like, there's no better word for that. That's fucking... Oh, that's so great. I'm so happy with that. That could not have turned out better. Was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, there's a fucking dude with two, like, submachine guns, which is sick. Um... I'm gonna make sure that I don't have anyone left before I go and do this, because this is gonna probably be rough. Uh, I've... Oh. Yeah, it's pretty well spaced. I was gonna say, maybe if I went down, I'd have more room. But I don't. Alright, alright. One shot. Yes! That's not even the end of the fucking level, though. There's still more. I'm so happy about that. Um. Oh, I lied. It's the end of the level. That was weird. That was a weird delay thing. But then, okay, cool. We're straight. Um, I'm gonna end this session here, because that took way too long. I'll talk about how Hotline Miami 2 in the next fucking session. Alright, um, let's see what I got. I'm hoping C minus. C minus or worse. C plus! Oh, yeah! Alright, cool. I'm actually super happy with that. As shitty as that is, actually, like, objectively. For how poorly I fucking performed there, I'm glad that happened. Alright, I'm gonna end this. I'll be back later to, uh, do another couple levels.